Previously. You must complete a small escape room, and if you fail, you are stuck forever. The lights switch off, just like earlier. You hear a very familiar voice call your name. A warm hand touches your arm. The lights turn on. You're back in your living room. You think that the voice that called your name was your mom, but she is nowhere to be seen. The phone in your living room starts to ring. You pick it up. I see you're back home. You answer with a faint yes. Well, you won't be for long. Very soon you will be right back to the escape room. And remember, if you fail to complete it, you are stuck forever. The weird creature-like thing hangs up the phone. Who would be at the door, you think to yourself. You get up to go and check. You open the door. Just like last time, it leads to the unexpected. Except now you can't resist going outside. You get pulled out of your home. You get pulled through the path. By the houses, through the hallway. But this time, when you are at the three doors, you get taken into door two, and it takes you straight to the room with the awful creature. Hello there, you're back. You sigh. I will waste zero time and take you straight to the escape room. Here is my button I will use to teleport you there. Three, two, one. Everything goes black once again. You are now in this blue pool room. Your first clue comes on an intercom. Welcome to the escape room. Here is your first clue. Rock and roll, what rocks and does not roll. You think as you look around the small minimalist room, you know it's probably not the sly or the ladder. You think it could be the chair. These ones obviously don't rock, but chairs can rock back and forth and they don't exactly roll. You say your final answer out loud, the chair? That is correct. Go over to the chair and grab your next clue. I will be leaving you by yourself for your last two riddles. You go and grab your next clue. It reads you can only go down me, because if you try to go up, you may fall. The sly, obviously you say, you walk over to the sly. You grab your necks and last clue. It reads, I am a portal made of wood or metal. People push through me to exit or enter. You think it could be a door. But there isn't really any doors in this room. They are more like little entryways. You walk over towards an entryway. When you get to the doorway, it's not really what you expected. It's the entrance to a spaceship. Congratulations. You escaped the back rooms. I guess that's all. For now. Three, two, one. You're suddenly back to the doorway. You enter hoping this leads to your home. It's all dark once again. You open your eyes and see that you are laying in your bed. Was this all a dream?